Peter Senge. He wrote a bunch of books on, on ecology. He was from MIT, and he did a lot of work on, on systems theory and so forth. He wrote a book called The Fifth Discipline. And I found an, an interview with him on the internet. And he was talking about what it takes to be a great team or what it's like to be part of a great team. He said some pretty interesting things. He said, when I ask people about the learning experience of being part of a great team, they tell me that what's most striking is the meaningfulness of the experience. He's not talking about what they accomplished or the product they produced or how much money they made, but the meaningfulness of the experience in just working with a great team of people. So they talk about being part of something larger than themselves, of being connected, of being generative. It becomes quite clear that for many, those experiences stand out as singular periods of life lived to the full, fullest. Some people spend the rest of their lives looking for ways to recapture that spirit. You know, this is hard to understand unless you've really been part of a team where you felt this way. Has anybody ever been a part of a team where you felt this way? Yeah. You have? Absolutely. You know what that feels like. It's amazing. And I, and I think for the most part, we, we, we here at uh, Comet slash uh, AWCC, we, we're, we're part of something new and noteworthy. Yeah. And uh, uh, I spent the long hours and the crazy hectic schedules that everyone had to endure, and for the most part still endure. Yeah. Um, uh, it, it's part of the sweat and toil of our labor, which is launching something new. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, comparing this to my experiences dealing with team sports, it's, it's very similar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you know, you can look at those experiences with a team in sports and look how you train together and you work together and all the hard work and then the payoff and winning those games and that there's just nothing like it. I talk to sometimes people in the military who talk about experiences that they had in the military. You know, now I was in the military and I didn't have any of those teams, <laughs> those experiences, but some people did, you know, and they talk about that experience and what that's like. But the one thing that's amazing when I talk to them is it's like, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget that experience. It changed me. And, and, and the thing that always makes me wonder is, does anybody know how to recreate that experience? Did it just happen by accident? Well, there were probably a lot of reasons that it happened when it happened, but that was then and this is now. Could you take the experiences that you've had and the skills that you have and working on new skills be a part of making that happen here? You're going to be here working anyway. Why not make it the best it can be? Why not make it a great environment where people love to be here? Why not learn how to do something like that? Because if you can learn how to do something like that, you can go anywhere and make it happen again. Why not do that in your home? One thing that divorce will tell you is, is how painful relationships can be and become. And sometimes people go through divorces and they say that divorce was really a happy experience because it took so long and finally I'm free, I'm free at last, you know. But you know, go all the way back to when you first met this person and you fell in love and how you valued it and at some point along the line things changed. And then you enter into a new relationship, and here is the potential opportunity again. What can we make out of it? Does anybody either know somebody who is really in love and has a wonderful relationship, or maybe you have one? Just raise your hand if you know somebody. It might even be you. Okay? You know, when I see those experiences, I mean, you know, and, and interface with people like that, and I see what a great relationship, I have to say, man, this is, I know this didn't happen by accident. This is a really great thing to see. And I remember the frustration in my own life saying, why can't I make this happen? And I can. And I have a pretty good one. It's taken a lot of work and a lot of relearning and a lot of recovery on my part from a lot of bad behaviors, you know. But she went through her own divorce too and, and, and you know, we're both recovering together and we've been able to do something. But there's a high value that we have for each other and the relationship that we have. I think that when we work on something and we value relationships, it makes it really worth the effort. And the skills that you develop allow you to continually enhance them. And that's really what I wanted to implant in you today is the seeds that any effort that you put forth in this direction will pay off, maybe in ways that you don't even realize.